Now, if you want to compare this to last month, we've already seen some chilly weather this January. And did you know, as we head towards the end of the month, we are entering what is traditionally the coldest period of the season for the Midlands. And it might be a reason you probably haven't considered. Meteorologist Corey Smith explains. As we go into this upcoming week, some of the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this winter. And that's actually pretty on brand for this time of year. Taking a look at the average temperatures across Columbia over the winter months, or at least the cooler months, January on average is typically the coldest. Just an average temperature of 45.7 degrees. As we go February into March, well, we start warming things back up. As for the time period of middle to late January, which we're about to head into, this is where we've seen some of the coldest temperatures in the Midlands on record. You can see here in Columbia back in 1985 hitting negative one degrees and some pretty chilly highs only in the middle to upper 20s over the last few decades. But Here's something pretty interesting, the winter solstice. That starts on December 21st, nine hours and 54 minutes of sunshine. But since then, we've actually gained almost an hour of sunshine by the time that we're getting towards the end of this month. So here's the interesting question. How can we be getting colder if our days are still getting longer? Well, it's all about sun angle, and that's really the interesting thing about this time of year. In the summer months, we see that sunlight much more concentrated and much more direct, and that's why we're typically warmer during those months. But during the winter months, that includes December, January, and even early February, our sun angle is lower. So we're taking that same amount of sunlight that we saw in the summer, and we're stretching that over a larger area, so it's less concentrated. And that's why right now we're about about to head into what is typically the coldest portion of the winter for us here across the Midlands. But of course we have that cold air this time of year, but what does it take to get snow here in South Carolina? Well, very often we have that area of colder air just up towards our north, but if it's still building into the southeast, Low pressures will pass through and bring us nothing but rain here across the Midlands as it continues to work towards the east. But if that colder weather is built in already, so it's already in the region, look at this. The northern side of the low pressure will be on the wintry side, and that's where we could see sleet, freezing rain, and even snow in portions of the Midlands as well as across South Carolina. Of course, here in Columbia, it's been a couple years since we've seen some measurable snow. So if that does become the case where we could see that a little bit later on as we head towards that traditionally coldest portion of the winter. We're going to let you know right here on News 19. From studio, I'm meteorologist Corey Smith.